Tonight, animals are helping answer some of the biggest medical questions, possibly paving the way for major scientific breakthroughs to help millions of people. Today, researchers at NYU announced they've transplanted a pig kidney into a brain-dead man. I've been preparing for that day in this setting for this procedure for so long to finally be able to do that was, was just really exciting. And the kidney is still kidney. working more than one month later. It even looks better than a human kidney, I think. This groundbreaking move could transform transplants as we know it, and it happens as across the country these lizards losing and then regenerating their own tails could be key to treat more than 30 million people who suffer from osteoarthritis every day in the U.S. The humble lizard, uh, while you might not think about it very often, uh, is actually a, you know, factory of pro-regenerative processes. This is Chloe. Yes, she's named after the Kardashians. She's one of several types of lizards who drop their tails to fend off predators and then regenerate large amounts of cartilage really quickly, basically making a new one. Lizards are somehow able to turn normal everyday body cells called fibroblasts into new tissue types, including cartilage. In humans with osteoarthritis, cartilage degenerates instead of regenerates, forming a scar and making it hard to move properly and researchers say we could all get it in our lifetimes. Researchers at USC hope that knowing how lizards make new cartilage, we can make the same kind of thing happen in people. My first knee injury happened when I was about 14. Um, the next injury happened a couple months after that. Molly Huddleston's now 31 and running through her treatments. I am too young for a knee replacement, but my arthritis is already so advanced that some treatment options, like a steroid shot, are not an option for me. Uh, if we can take a little bit of what the lizards are able to do naturally and turn those fibroblasts into cartilage, um, it would have a great therapeutic potential for human patients. And this kind of research goes way beyond lizards and pigs. From fruit flies to mice, we basically use uh, research animals as way for testing our hypotheses before making the jump to humans. Nature acting as one big laboratory for scientists who are looking for answers to our many health mysteries.